In today's video, I'm going to tell you about a pretty common mistake that a lot of preppers make regarding their water purifiers and filters that they have for after SHTF. I'm also going to tell you what you can do to prepare for it right after the channel intro. Welcome, this channel is all about prepping and self-defense while still maintaining our integrity and honor. So subscribe to this channel to learn how to feed and protect yourself and your family after the system collapses. So I have been seriously prepping for numerous years now and I have actually tested out my water purification systems that I've got actually using dirty green lake water and making sure that they do actually work. But one of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of these companies will tout how their water filter or their water purifier will filter or purify X amount of thousands of gallons of water before you have to replace the elements or replace the filter. But what a lot of preppers don't realize is that many times when those companies are saying that their purifier or their filter will purify thousands of gallons of water, that is when you are purifying relatively clean water to begin with. If you are purifying or filtering out water that comes from your faucet, from your tap, or you are filtering out stream water that is pretty darn clear, or if you are purifying or filtering out well water, your water purifier or your filter will actually clean thousands of gallons of water for you. However, once you start filtering out after like say after SHTF and you start filtering out water that's from a nearby lake or water that's from a stream or a river that's not so clear once you start filtering water like that that gunk will clog up your purifiers elements or your water filters filters a lot quicker if you are running water like that through your systems you will not get that same amount of thousands of gallons of water that the company boasts that it will do so let me repeat that if you are filtering or purifying water that's already relatively clean then your water purification system will do the thousands of gallons of water that the company boasts but again, once you start filtering dirtier lake water or river water or something like that, you will not get anywhere, probably will not get anywhere near that amount of water. So you just have to remember that the dirtier the water is that you are running through your purification system, then the sooner that your system will stop working for you. Now with many of the black carbon or the uh, ceramic filters and or elements, many times that you can use a scouring uh, brush to clean the outside of those to extend the life of them. But again, if you are running dirtier water through your system, it will still clog up the inside of those pores, again, not giving you the thousands of gallons of water like the company has boasted. So what's some of my recommendations on this? My first recommendation is to figure out how many replacement filters and or elements that you think that you would need for after SHTF, but figure out how many that you think that you need and then probably double that number. And then if that's going to get pretty pricey for you because like the Berkey elements run a little bit over $100 for I think a set of two of them, if that gets too pricey for you, then you can always go with something cheaper like the Sawyer uh, Mini. And I think that runs about 20 bucks and is supposed to uh, filter out I think a hundred thousand gallons of water now if you're interested in checking out the Sawyer mini then I will put in an affiliate link down below in the description box but while the Sawyer mini is not as good as the like say the Berkey it still uh, takes out a lot of the bad stuff that would make you sick if you were filtering water after SHTF and then what I would personally do if I were using the Sawyer mini is I would probably add some chlorine, a little bit of chlorine to the water before running it through the uh, through the Sawyer 
to help disinfect it, to help kill off extra bad things, and then I might even boil it too. But I, the Sawyer, again, while it's not as good as the Berkey, we just, you know, we gotta face the facts, which is there are a lot of hikers out there that are using it now and drinking water from streams and stuff like that, and they're not exactly dropping like flies. So again, if I were using the Sawyer Mini after SHTF to filter my water with, what I would probably do is I would use the high strength pool shock to make homemade chlorine and then add some of that to the water before I actually ran it through the Sawyer, but I would add that chlorine to the water, uh, swish it around, give it some time to kill the bad stuff in there. Then I would run it through the Sawyer Mini before I actually drank it. And again, that might be overkill. Again, there are thousands of hikers out there that use the Sawyer Mini on a daily basis, and again, they're not dropping dead on the hiking trails. Personally, for me, my main water purification is the Berkey. And then for backups, then I have the Sawyer Mini, and then I also have a ceramic filter uh, on top of that. And then, of course, I also have plenty of the pool shock in storage to the high-powered regular pool shock that I would use to make chlorine to uh, treat the water before I would even run it through one of those purifiers or one of those filters. So what's your thoughts on this subject? Did you already know that if you were filtering lake water or stuff like that, that did you already know that you would not get the same amount of life out of your filter like the companies tout that you do? Or was this a complete surprise to you? And if you would like to learn just how easy it is to make your own homemade chlorine from a high strength pool shock, how just a five pound bag of the stuff will allow you to disinfect like 50,000 gallons of water, then click on the video that should be appearing at the top of the screen just about now to see step by step how to make your own homemade chlorine for water disinfection after SHTF. And if you would like to see a torture test that I put the Berkey through, how I took dirty, nasty, smelly, green lake water, and I ran it through the Berkey and I turned it into this crystal clear water that was safe to drink, and I also drink it on video, then click on the video that should be appearing on the left side of the screen just about now to learn more about that. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.